Hi, welcome to Saltwater Sportsman's Boat Tour videos. I'm your host, Dean Travis Clark, and today I'm aboard an Albemarle 360 XF. XF stands for Express Fisherman. And I gotta tell you, those Outer Banks fellows at Albemarle, they really do know about fishing. So why don't you come aboard, I'll give you the quick cook's tour, and then we'll run out the inlet for a sea trial. In the transom, there is this huge fish box, drains overboard, fully half the width of the transom, but if that isn't enough, you also have this big fish box in deck, and that box lifts out with those cleats and gives you access to the lazarette. Forward here, we have two modules. Besides being a great sitting place where you can hop up, comfortably watch all your trolled baits, lift them up. This is a sink used for uh, rigging, and this is a refrigerator freezer, stainless steel with a thermostat. So you can have it just cool for your food or uh, drinks, or you can knock it right down to Captain Zero for baits or deep freeze. And underneath all of this is storage. On this side, this module has a live bait well, and again with storage underneath. Now, stand back for just a second and let me open up this engine compartment. The whole bridge deck lifts up for big access to the engine. As is the case with every express style boat, the engine room can't offer full headroom. The Raycor fuel filters are right here. The dripless shaft block, the 9KW generator, the dipsticks for the oil, even the crash pump is right close at hand. And I sure hope you never need it. Oh, and did I mention that you don't have to lift the whole hatch up and disturb everyone just to check something in here. There is this convenient day hatch. Just lift it up, you can check anything in here. As you can see, there's a ton of room on this bridge deck, both for the helmsman and the guests. Plus you have your pomponette, helm, and companion seats. The helm is on center line with quick and easy access to the cockpit so that if you're fishing short-handed, you can get down there like that. Single lever controls for the throttle and shifts. These are CATS electronic displays, LCD. And look at the expanse here. This is a Raymarine 14 inch display in its C series. There's plenty of room for at least another one here and then even more equipment if you want it. Let's take a step down below decks. I don't know about your family, but in my family, a lot of our lives centers around food and food preparation and spending time together eating. Here's a galley that's gonna let you do that. Here in the head, there's a porcelain toilet, Corian counter, just like in the galley, and a separate shower stall. So this is your entertainment area, living quarters. You have a nice TV here. As I said, you have another of your refrigerator freezer doors, and this is your settee where you can sit can eat at the dining table. Here's the private cabin. This all closes off, and this is a really nice berth in here as well. Let's go fire up the diesels. We'll run out the inlet, and you can see how it drives. Our 360XF, powered with the optional Caterpillar C9s rated at 575 horsepower each, topped out at 32 and a half knots, turning 2,500 RPM, and we were using 55 gallons per hour at that speed. The most efficient cruising speed is 29 knots, turning 2300 RPM, and at that speed, we're running 40 gallons per hour. Well, that's Albemarle's 360XF. Big boat, family cruiser, hardcore fisherman, everything wrapped up in one luxurious package. Go see your dealer. They are cutting incredible deals right now.